<laughs> Dr. Lori, I'm hysterically laughing because the figurine that we showed in the last segment, it looked like yeah. a cow, but it, it was a dog? Was it a dog? It's a dog. It looked like a it's cow a to me. That's because cows always <laughs> crawl in your suitcase. <laughs> no, it's a dog, honey. It's a dog. Oh, so you poor thing. Dr. Lori, we, you're working we've too been, hard. You're up too early. I, we've been working we have, too hard, Dr. Lori. We have these Lord. smaller <laughs> monitors in here. So when I, when, when David said dog, I was like, oh, he's had too much beer this morning. <laughs> okay, hey, David, anyway. I think I yeah. got it. I think I got it. Can you see this? Oh, uh, HBD, David. Oh, thank you, Dr. Lori. You are so sweet. Love that. It wasn't that easy to do, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> All well, right. thank you. <laughs> Let's get to uh, the carousel and circus glasses that came from Karen. I loved these when I saw them. They're beautiful 1960s era glasses. But if you look at them closely, they are not a set. There are 10 of them uh. here, but I want you to notice they are not a set. And that's what I want you to do. If you're, if you're looking at online auctions and you're trying to sell stuff, look at those photographs. Don't be too quick. So notice the bottom, and that's the tip. The bottom has actually this black and white, um, this black and white repeating pattern on some of them, but not right. all of them. So some are carousels and some are circus. They're different. Some are carousel and some are circus. I you can see, see the poles as well. Now, how so, many would come um, in a set normally? Normally in a set, you would have 12, okay? So basically, she's, she's just put them together, and she likes them, and they're beautiful, and I think they're very, very indicative of the 1960s, playful and such. Yeah. So what do you think? You are trying to guess the set, even the, the 10 of them, even though they are not a set. Okay. Hmm. Now, were these, were these made, or at least the majority of them, with the black and white at the bottom, were they made by a company that, that is very collectible, or was it, was it part of a promotion of a, of a brand of something, or no? No, they're made, they're made by a company, um, they're made by two different companies, actually, and they are frosted, so they would have been utilized for uh, like a lemonade set or a tea, right. iced tea set, long and right. skinny. Different shapes of glasses are for different types of drinks. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What'd you say? I said $45. I said $50. $75. Oh, oh Heather hey. gets the point. All right, we're off and running now. And the next one is an incense burner from Randy. So tell us about this. Also cast iron, early 1900s, oh. you put the incense in that little hole, and then you'll notice that the foo dog, uh, <laughs> the foo dog actually has an open cow. mouth. <laughs> not a cow, an open <laughs> mouth, and the open mouth is where, of course, the smoke and the incense would come out. Oh, how clever. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It would be There's weird usually... if it was a cow doing it, but it's a dog. So now it <laughs> makes total sense that it's a dog. Yes. It's an Asian dog. Uh, well, they call them food dogs. They kind of look like right. little lions. Okay. And is there a story behind it? Like, is, is there anything more there than wh why? The, is it just decorative that the dog is doing this, or is there like a legend yes, or something? Yes, or the Orientalist period, which is a, a an, an allowed term in art history, the Orientalist period. Um, though not politically correct today, uh, is in fact a very popular early 20th century um, form. So they were popular. So that's why you'll see that. It's a food dog, not a moo cow, Heather. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I, I'm realizing my error today. <laughs> okay. Maybe, and perhaps I need glasses. Okay. So, <laughs> and a hearing aid. Okay, I said $65. I said $50. $25. Oh, really? Uh, but it's so cute. It is cute. All, <laughs> right, All right, we we are tied up going into the last uh, item. So the okay. oh, oh, suspense right now, Dr. Lori. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at this glass. And this is from 1970, sent in from Susan. That's right. So it's a 1970s television city glass. If you went to New York in the 1970s, you could purchase this. And also, if you um, had a beer at the uh, Television City at uh, 30 Rock, right, Rockefeller Center, you actually could, would be able to um, purchase this with your beer. So that's where Television City was in 1970. It was at Rockefeller Center in New York. They can, yeah, they consider Television City Rock Rockefeller Center. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, All right, okay. so I, I'm assuming I, this is a, a promo item, a lot of them Promo made. item, lots and lots and lots of them out there, just the way David's going to have lots and lots of toys and lots and lots of gifts for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but they're really in demand, right, and very valuable, right, Dr. Lori? 
Uh, this piece? <laughs> this piece, trying, there's many of them out there. I'm just trying to throw there. Heather off. <laughs> Don't throw anybody off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, okay. No, no, I don't. I don't. I, can I change my mind again? I don't know. <laughs> Do we need to go to commercials? Probably we not. Might have to, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I made a guess. Good. <laughs> Why don't you go, birthday boy? $35. I said 20 Come on, it's worth 10 bucks. Yeah, oh, that's what I had on that old thing. You're right, you did win today. I See? know. You, no just, knew, you put it out into the universe and it happened. That's my gift to you, yeah. David. I win today. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> we love spending time with you, Dr. Lori. I love you, David Highfield. Happy birthday. Have a great day. We're lucky we have you in our lives. That oh, is so thank true. You. Right back at you, Dr. Lori. All right, thanks so much. And thanks to everyone for sending us your photos. And who knows, maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.